Howdy everybody, this is Rochelle here. In this video, we're gonna show for a specific horse how to set up a location as well as packages. So location would be their stall location, what pasture they get turned out in. These are important for some of the different reports as well as the feed chart list and such. The package is important if you board horses. And so you wanna set up what kind of packages, a board package, an activity-based package, an additional monthly type of service package. So you wanna be able to set those up for that horse. If, if you're watching this video and you have not created the packages yet or set up your locations. So you've got a five stall barn and you wanna name the stalls one, two, three, four, five or A, B, C, D, E or however you wanna do it. Then go and see my video about creating the packages and locations in the system setting. So watch that first before you watch this video. Bye. Since I set up Dolce, I did not put anything in as far as location and package. I set up my default location, barn, stall, all that into my in my settings. So that is all there, but it doesn't didn't default on her because I set her up before I had that created. So what I will do is I will go over here and um, I hit clicked edit. So I'm going to select my stable location is Global Ranch, my barn. Um, so I can put in here, I set up a main barn or I could say there's no barn or horse pasture or I could create a new one. But I, she's in my main barn and my main barn when I set it up in the settings has three stalls. So I can and I just call them one, two, three. You could call it whatever name you want. Um, so I'm going to select that she's in the third stall. And then what pasture does she go out in and typically go out in? So I can select her pasture of what she typically um, gets turned out in. And then I can hit save. Now there's this thing of packages. So for instance, if I am a barn owner, a stable owner that has a, a commercial stable and I want to enter in um, packages, if I was going to charge this owner, happens to be myself, but if I was going to charge somebody for Dolce, I can hit edit. And this is where I would set up their packages. So my packages might be a type of package that they're on under. So it is, um, we have different types of packages. We have different lesson packages, ride packages, training, um, different packages that are set up. Remember, in my settings, I set up two different board packages. I had basic board and then I had training board. So I can select training board. I would hit what date does it start on? Let's say it starts today. And then I could put an end date if I know it's going to end or I just leave it open and then I can just go from there. I can add another package. Let's say I have a certain type of package that I want to have and it's a lesson package. And um, if I was a trainer and I wanted to have, offer a lesson package and that was four lessons per week, I can start that. Um, let's say I want to start it on March 1st. I hit save and then with no end date. So very easy to do to set up the packages and those are the packages now set up for that horse and you can see that in there. I do wanna point out a couple things in the location and package that will help you navigate it, it's very important. First thing is this. So when you set up a package, for instance, I set up this basic board package to start on 510. So this is a prorated package. So for the month of May, it will be prorated. And so for the month, it will take the number of days remaining from the 10th to the end of the month to the 31st. And then it will divide by 31 days and it will prorate the board rate for May. For June, it will charge a full rate for that. The other factor that is absolutely critical, today is 517. The horse actually got here on 510 and the board starts on 510. However, I just set up the horse today. I didn't get to it right on the first date and that's fine, but there is a disconnect in the system on this then because I want the board to start on 510, which is what I'm telling it to do. But what happens is, is that it won't start on 510 because if I go back to my basic data, and I look at it, I set up the horse on 517, so it's gonna do any invoicing after 517. So there's a disconnect in that, and I need to change this date back to 510. The reason for that disconnect is you just don't want it to charge any erroneous billing 
uh, from the, the prior uh, prior to this owner start date. You don't want it if the horse was uh, tied to somebody else or, or whatever. You don't want to have erroneous billing out prior to that start date for this owner. So I'm going to hit edit and I'm going to change the date to 510 and I will hit save. Now I can guarantee that when I go and, and we do the first invoice for this horse and I go to finance invoices, and if I want to generate a new invoice, here you can see Frog's board and now it shows from 510 to 531. It is prorated. There's 22 days from the 10th through the 31st divided by 31. The rate is $1,200 a month. And so it prorates out to $851.61. So that gives you an idea of how to set up these board packages for the horse and making sure that, that you get to the proper invoicing. Thanks for watching. We're going to be posting more videos related to equine simplified tips and tricks as well as general horse care topics. So please remember to subscribe so that you can get the latest. Now, time to go play with the horses. Cheers. <laughs>